Hello, um, Geminis, my beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps out my channel so much. And remember to only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Know that this reading is timeless. So whenever you clicked on it is when you were meant to see it. As you can see, Gemini, we have all of your cards already pulled, okay? Literally just pulled them. And let's go ahead and dive in, all right? Now, Gemini, we have Hermit at the back of the deck with Solitude. And we have the Hermit right here. Two of Swords. Passion ignited, choose wisely, and the ace of wands. We're going to start with just this section alone, okay? <laughs> because this hermit energy is major for you. So major Virgo energy, okay? You could be a Virgo sun. You don't have to be. If you are or you have heavy Virgo in your chart, please check out the Virgo reading, um, which, will, which should be up, okay? <laughs> um, but Gemini, okay? I feel like you have recently gone through some sort of rebirth, okay? Uh, I just heard the dark night of the soul. I feel like you've just recently um, been through like this winter period or been in a void. You don't have to be, okay? It just doesn't have to 1000% be the case for you. But with the hermit card, I feel like you've been spending a lot of time alone. I feel like you've been diving more into your spirituality, into your, you know, your, your inner self. You've been recognizing and, and learning how to recognize your intuition. Um, I see that you have been connecting deeper into your inner wisdom, Gemini. I see that you are contemplating on something. There's some sort of there's something that you're contemplating on, some sort of decision you're contemplating about making. Like there's something you're thinking about doing and i feel like you feel very guided towards doing it but there's some sort of uh questioning on whether it is that you should whether or not you should do it or not and i have to say for you gemini um the spirits are saying to trust your intuition okay trust your intuitions and be patient with what it is that you are deciding okay and really listen to your inner guidance because your inner guidance will not steer you wrong okay um, it's, a very, it's very important for you to listen to yourself. It's very important for you to receive the information that you are going to be given. And the way for you to do that is to spend more time in silence. The way for you to do that is to spend more time meditating and recognizing when the energy is calling out to you. And, and I feel like there's, we have the Ace of Wands twice, if I'm not mistaken. Ace of Wands twice. So there's this beautiful new beginning happening for you. Gemini, a beautiful, passionate new beginning. There's this passion coming forth with you. It's like this passion. It, it could be passion for spirituality, passion for creativity, passion for life again, passion for books, the arts, music. There's some sort of passion that's coming through and you want to do something with it. You want to chase after it. There's this new goal. There's something that you really want to um, move towards and you're going to feel called towards moving towards it. So Make that decision that's best for you. Do what you feel called to do, okay? That's a major message here for you, Gemini. Ten of Cups and the Tower. I feel like when you do make that move that you feel called to do, you will find so much fulfillment. There's fulfillment coming in for you, Gemini. Happiness, uh, contentment with, with the decision that you've made. I feel like there will be contentment with the decision that you made when you follow your heart. The tower card is telling me that this is a surprise. This is a shakeup. Like you, you follow your heart and then you're like, I didn't even know that it was going to feel this good. I didn't even know that all of these beautiful blessings, that all of these beautiful blessings would come forth. I didn't even know that. Eight of Wands, the Empress. There's this energy of um, communication coming through. But with the Eight of Wands depicted in this way, I see it more so as like, there, the energy has been like chaotic. The energy has been so much going on, so much happening. And I feel like you may feel that way when all of this beautiful abundance and blessings come through because this is what it's indicating with the Empress, okay? The Empress, abundance, blessings. Like, I think that the best way to handle like the chaos of having so much opportunity is to really just go within, go into flow, uh, Gemini. So when all of these opportunities present themselves, when you have so much on your plate, 
just really go with the flow. Again, major message here for Gemini, trust your heart, have patience with yourself, have patience with others, know that you are in control of your reality, your, your universe, know that um, there are no mistakes, okay? There are no mistakes. There's just lessons. There's just growth. And you are in that process. And whatever, and whenever you're following your heart, following, following what you feel called to do, you are doing the right thing. Okay? Okay? Uh, let's see what else there is because I feel like I said it all. <laughs> Okay, back to the deck, we have the chariot, the four of cups. Again, there's opportunities coming in for you. But because you may have been through this uh, rebirth, you have been, you've been through like this very dark period, uh, you may not see those opportunities right away. But I don't feel like these opportunities will pass you by. I feel like once you are awakened in, with the Ace of Wands, once you are seeing, once you finally see these opportunities, though, that's when you have to, again, choose which way you're going to go. What are you going to do? And I feel like a lot of this choice has to do with, are you going to stay in this energy of over it? I'm just not seeing my blessings. I'm not seeing my growth. I'm not seeing prosperity. I'm not seeing none of that. If you're gonna, Are you going to stay in that? Or are you going to move in the direction of the light? Are you going to move in the direction of you know the light at the end of the tunnel, right? And I feel like this is, this is again, you have to follow your heart to see that. But with the Wheel of Fortune behind that, I feel like, and the, and the Emperor, yes, for some of you guys, when you follow your heart, it's going to be leading yourself to your own divine counterpart. Um, but again, take that for how it resonates. But once you choose the light, I see that positive changes coming in for you, where you feel more stable, more grounded, okay? Solitude, yes, you've been really cleansing your shadow. You've been really um not cleansing. Well, yeah, cleansing your shadow because I feel like you're you're looking at the darker aspects of yourself, like you know, what and I feel like that's what this 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 kind of decision has to do with like looking at looking at things in a deeper way. And Virgo is good at doing that, looking at things in a deeper way, seeing things for what they truly are. Okay, and analyzing it, analyzing it, analyzing why do you feel like you can't handle success? Like for some of you guys, you might feel that way. You feel like you can't handle success or you're afraid of success. So why do you feel that way? So there's some shadow energies coming up in this solitude, this heavy hermit energy in your reading, Gemini, is here in order for you to really take a look and pay attention to those shadow aspects so you can... Um, work through them okay with that crown chakra energy yes you are channeling a lot of information there's a lot of information coming to you and i felt that as well emotional withdrawal and this is just you walking away from these um cycles and aspects or even people that just don't serve you you know you're really tapping into your inner wisdom and releasing the past the past way of being one final card for gemini on a card for Gemini. On a card for Gemini. Again. Insight. Opens the third eye to strengthen intuition. Yeah, you should definitely check out uh, Virgos. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think Virgo got that card. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I've been doing this for, like, what, an hour now? Um, Opens the third eye to strengthen your intuition. And, yeah, and then you have the card of intuition. So love that for you. Uh. Gemini, you're definitely, definitely, definitely like seeing things much more clearly and different and being called to trust your intuition because it is not going to steer you wrong. And one more final card. And I felt like that was a heavy message um, in your reading, like one of the main messages. Okay. Final card, we have... Abracadabra with wings, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Yes, you don't see it coming, but there's a lot of good fortune coming your way, Gemini. Back of the deck, we have Dragonfly. You bring light to this world. Yes, you do, Gemini. You bring light to this world, and I feel like you're going to be shining so brightly, okay? So freaking brightly. And don't let anybody dim your light. Thank you so much for being here. Like, comment, share, subscribe. 
And please come back to see me and watch your other Zodiac readings. Bye.